welcome to the new episode of tech insert hi friends today we are going to make a combination of voltmeter and an ammeter the voltmeter is used for measuring voltage and the ammeter is used for measuring current the heart of this system is this module using this module we can measure current and voltmeter i will zoom a bit more i will give the buying link in the description box the voltage will be shown at the top part and the current will be shown at the bottom of the display when we are looking at the back side of this module you can see two connectors with a, with an ic and a shunt resistor and a few components with a preset and all the wires for these connectors are available along with this module you can see the three pin socket and its jack it is called relimate connector or relimate jack and relimate socket this is three pin relimate connector all type of relimate connectors are available in the market this is the connector used for measuring current. We can measure at the most 10 ampere using this module. That is why this wire is current measuring wire is a bit thick. This R018 that is the shunt resistor and its value is 0 0.018 ohms. Using this module we can measure at the most 100 volt. 100 volt means 99.9 volt and that voltage is a DC one. And the current the maximum we can measure is 9.99 ampere. In this 3 pin relimate connector, the red wire and the black wire is used for powering this module. And the working voltage for this module is 9 to 12 volt. This red wire and black wire is used for powering this module. 9 volt or 12 volt uh, can be given separately to this module. And this yellow wire and black wire is used for measuring the voltage. We will connect a measuring probe to this yellow wire and black wire. I will show you everything in action. How this can be done and all everything. Next thing is current measuring connector. This is capable of carrying 10 ampere. In any meter or anywhere the current is measured by connecting the meter in series with the load. So these two wires will be connected in series to the load. But the voltage we are connecting across the uh, uh, terminals or we are uh, voltage we are measuring the potential difference between two, two, two end points. We are fixing everything inside this box. This box I bought from an electrical shop. This, uh, uh, this is used for fixing one switch and one three pin or two pin socket. This is a plastic box and is very cheap. For switching this meter on and off, we will be providing this switch here. We will not be using any slide switch or toggle switch here. They are very compact in size, but this switch is having very good lifespan. And this is the 9 watt battery we will be using for powering this module. And this switch will be used for controlling that. That is on off switch. And we are planning to fix the display here. By fixing these two things here, this meter will be very compact in size. But we need to cut a small portion of this box. We can connect 2 pin socket as well as 3 pin socket in this box. For connecting 3 pin socket you need to break this grooved portion. I already done it for this side. If you are using a 2 pin socket you don't need to break anything. You can simply fix it over here. But 3 pin socket is having bigger size that is why they have provided this option inside this box. For fixing this display, we don't need to break the both side. Only one is enough that I, I have already done. The, now you can see the height part is okay, but the width wise it is not inserting. We have to cut a bit more from this box. Before that, I will show you what other things we will be using inside this box. This is banana socket. The measuring props will be connecting to this banana socket. This is the banana jack. This, In short, it is called as banana connectors. These banana connectors are used uh, in uh, musical systems for providing the DC power supply from the battery. These banana connectors are reliable and is having very long life. What I am planning is the black will be the common and if you are measuring the voltage the jack will be connected to this banana socket and if you are measuring the current the jack will be connected to this banana socket. This is the similar operation we are doing in the multimeter. We can even connect these crocodile clips at the end of the measuring props that will help us to measure voltage and current from batteries and other uh, other things. The other things we will be using here is the 9 volt battery and this 9 volt battery connector. Now I will come back after cutting this portion from this box. I don't think that this that is a very tedious job. Let's do it. 
I have fixed the display in the box. The cutting job was not that much easy as I expected. This is not perfectly fit, but this is okay. You can see at the right side is not cut uh, very perfectly, but okay. We will use the glue gun to fill this area so that its appearance will be much better than now. I have some more work in this box. I need to uh, put some more holes into this box for fixing this banana socket. I will come back after doing that. I have fixed the switch in the box. The switch seems bulky, but this is a very long life switch. Next, we will connect the wires in the switch. As I explained earlier, the red wire is the positive terminal which will power the module. So we have to connect that positive terminal to the switch and the other end of the switch will be the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery connector. We have connected the wires in the switch. Next is we have to test this module whether it is working fine or not. For that I will connect the negative terminal of the 9 volt battery connector and the negative terminal of the module together. I am not soldering it permanently instead of just touching it so that we can test this module. can see the display is flickering. This is because the refresh rate of this module is very less. I am recording this video at 60 frames per second but still the flickering is, is very high. That is because the f f refresh rate of this module is far lower. But in reality you, when you are watching it uh, using your eyes you will not feel it. Because of the persistence of vision the, these figures seem stand still. I cannot see a single flicker through my eyes. We will test this module by measuring the voltage of this 9 volt battery. This 9 volt ba battery is uh, too old. I don't think that if this battery is having 9 volt, it will be below 6 volt only. I have connected the yellow wire to the positive terminal of the battery and black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. You can see it is, it is showing 4.8 or 4.9 volt. In order to see the accuracy, I will check this battery using a multimeter. Let's see how much difference there will be uh, in the value of uh, in multimeter and in our, our new module. To be frank, I am anticipating some difference between this multimeter and, the, and our module. While measuring the voltage is showing as 4.864 and from our module it was showing as 4.8 volt. So the accuracy was almost same. You can see a preset here. That preset is used for calibrating. For, for calibrating, you need a very, very accurate power source. One more thing we need to test and that is the current. I am connecting the current Relimate connector to the Relimate socket. I have a table fan which is working using 12 volt and maximum it will draw 2 ampere. Uh, this this is the, this positive line that is coming from uh, from my bench power supply and the negative line I will connect to the fan. 
I have tested using this battery, but this battery is not showing any ampere in this module. You can see uh, it is now showing 1.23 ampere, and in the uh, in in my bench power supply it is showing as 1.3 ampere. So uh, my uh, this is using a two digit decimal point, and my bench power supply is using one digit decimal point. So that difference. So it is almost okay. Let us fix the banana socket in the box. Actually the banana socket is coming like this. I have dismantled everything. Please watch carefully how I am fixing it. I have connected all the four banana sockets mm, there will be a problem i will explain you suppose imagine uh, this these two connectors are used for measuring the voltage and the other two connectors are used for measuring the current we are measuring the voltage by connecting the probe across the power source we are about to measure the voltage but accidentally we inserted the probe to the current measuring terminals what will happen current measuring terminals is having low resistance so when you connect that those prop to the high voltage source short circuit will happen so in order to avoid that we will connect a fuse in series with the current measuring terminals the value for the fuse can be 5 ampere or 10 ampere so if any short circuit will happen this fuse will blow off and another thing is we will be using this fuse holder in this project this fuse holder normally is used used uh, for fixing in a pcb but we will be connecting the terminals uh, in series with the positive terminal of the current measuring terminal
now we will connect the 9 volt power source to the module this is this battery is a new one if you are using a duracell 9 volt battery then it will last for two three years but duracell is pretty costly while fixing the battery inside this box be careful to uh, wrap wrap the battery with a plastic uh, plastic sheet or a sh heat shrink tube or uh, or a paper or anything otherwise the metal body of the battery may get contact with the or short circuit with the terminal so be careful so our product has now completed it's very compact right very small in size and is accurate Let's see what will happen if we are interchanging the positive and the negative. Will it measure or not? I have interchanged the terminals and you can see it is not measuring anything. So while measuring the current, please check the polarity of the terminals. The positive terminal of the power source should be connected to the positive terminal of the module and the negative terminal should be connected to the load. Now next we will check the voltage for that I am inserting the banana connectors to the voltage measuring terminals and I will be using this rechargeable uh, 9 volt battery as the power source let us see what will be showing in the voltmeter and the voltmeter is showing as um, there is some loose contact um, 9 9.1 volt yeah exactly 9.1 volt so the accuracy, uh, accuracy is very high this 9 volt battery do not uh, uh, have any high ampere because it is using a 500 milliampere uh, 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery and it is boosting we are boosting it to get a 9 volt battery so the output ampere will be less than 100 milliampere this battery was also made by me this, and this project is completed and is working perfectly fine Using this module, we can measure maximum 10 ampere, but uh, 100 ampere uh, modules are also available with a very high value shunt, uh, shunt resistance. If you believe that this video was informative, then please click like button and also share this to your friends. And if you have any suggestions or doubt related to this video, then please comment on this video. If you do not like this video, then please click dislike button. And also please comment on the reason why you dislike this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.